Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna be taking a look at the legend, the best bodybuilder in the world of all time, and what he looks like today, right now, in 2023, although it's almost 2024, but not quite yet. The last time I made a video about Ronnie Coleman and his physique update was 4 years ago, back in 2019, and a lot has changed since then, actually. And unfortunately, not for the better. This is the video that is circling around the internet these days. Somebody filmed this, I don't know why. And a lot of pages shared this, and I noticed a lot of negativity about this video because a certain Instagram page, I'm not gonna mention which one, posted this video first with the caption, was it worth it? Was it worth winning all the Mr. Olympias if you can't walk these days? And I think it was totally uncalled for. It's been a while since Ronnie Coleman injured his back, he had so many surgeries so far trying to fix it, but apparently it's not really working, the situation has been getting worse, and this is basically the last video of Ronnie Coleman, you know, trying to walk, or uh, whatever you want to call this, so basically he wasn't gonna let these guys carry him to the stage, he wanted to go there by himself, of course, he's a proud man, he is the greatest bodybuilder of all time, he was one of the strongest people in the world back when he was active and competing, and as you can see, now he's barely even able, well, I would say he's unable to walk at this point, it's really sad, it's really not pleasant to watch the legend, you know, having to struggle like this, but... it is how it is, again, he's trying, he's trying his best, he's still out there, he did not give up, he's still promoting the sport, he is doing everything he can. Honestly, I just wish after this video has surfaced, in the future, Ronnie's management will do a better job here, because organizers of these events and promoters should make these stages easily accessible for Ronnie to get up there with his wheelchair or his walker at least, no, he should not be crawling on the floor, climbing up there, trying to get to his chair. Like, this is definitely not acceptable. And these people here not helping him get up there, I understand that. He probably didn't want them to help him to carry him. That would probably be, you know, humiliating for him. That would probably make it worse. At least he got up there himself. But the way he got up there is definitely not acceptable, not cool. Hopefully in the future they will do something about this at the future events. But, you know, hey, he's still there. Again, he's still trying his best to promote the sport. And people are criticizing him for, you know, having injuries and not being able to walk today. But, you know, he is the legend. He is the best of all time. It comes with certain sacrifices, unfortunately. And it's not that he's just promoting the sport and promoting his brand and being active on social media, it's not just that, he's still in the gym, he's still training, he's still showing us how much he actually loves bodybuilding, he still lives and breeds bodybuilding, and also there is a whole bunch of comments, actually there is a comment on this Instagram post on his page that has like 25,000 likes, that says, please take some rest. And there is a whole bunch of other comments of people trying to tell Ronnie to stop this, that it's not really working in his favor anymore, that his body is not responding, it's only getting worse, and his spine is also getting worse, he is having more and more trouble to walk. Uh, eventually, someday, he will be completely unable to move at this pace. But, you know, he still loves bodybuilding that much that he is willing to completely sacrifice his spine, his ability to walk, just if he can get to the gym, lift some weights, get a pump, that's what it's all about, that's what he loves, and he doesn't care, it can kill him, he's never gonna stop, he said that multiple times actually, he will never stop, so guys, just quit, he will never stop, so let's just accept that and move on, and as you can see in this video, he's still very, very lean, like the vascularity is still present, like you can see a whole bunch of veins, you can see a lot of separation as well, body fat percent is extremely low, it actually might be 3% or whatever he was saying that it was back in the day in the off season, 
and uh, I think he lost the biggest amount of mass in his legs. Of course, obviously, he's unable to use them, to train them, and of course, they're gonna atrophy. As far as his upper body, though, I think he lost the most mass in his arms and shoulders, but his core, like his chest, his, uh, you know, midsection, his uh, back, there is still a lot of, a lot of mass there. As you can see in this most recent photo of him with Phil Heath, he is not really getting dwarfed, aside from the, of course, leg and arm department, but as far as like the, the shoulder width, the mass of the core of the body, of the upper body, like he doesn't look tiny, he doesn't look small, like some bodybuilders who lost a lot of weight. Like he's still a pretty big guy, he's still a massive dude. And you might be thinking, who cares how big he is, he can't even walk. Well, he cares, he cares a lot, obviously, some people, like Dorian Yates for example, can completely reinvent themselves and move from bodybuilding, completely remove that from their life, do something completely different with their lives, but not everybody, Ronnie loved bodybuilding too much to move from it, to remove himself from it, I mean, Dorian, you know, he did it the best that he could while he was doing it, and that chapter in his life is over. For Ronnie, it will never be over. He will be doing bodybuilding until he can breathe. And that's what makes him the greatest of all time, also aside from physique. Well, I guess that mindset is why his physique was so insane back in the day, because he loved bodybuilding so much, he would do anything for it. And even now, when he can't even do it, and the sacrifice is way too big, he's still trying his best. You can say whatever you want, but he's doing his thing. And here is a photo of him with uh, Larry Wheels when he was prepping for his show. In the background, there is a photo of Ronnie hitting a, a front relaxed pose. Larry is doing the same pose and he's imitating Ronnie by, you know, doing the same thing with the lips. And Ronnie is also kind of doing uh, the, the, the relaxed pose here. And you can see exactly how big he is. And here he is standing, you know, that's good. And um, yeah, of course, he's not looking anything like he looked back in the day, but you can see the overall mass. You can see a comparison between him and Larry. Larry is a big dude, and as you can see, Ronnie is not really getting dwarfed. You know, he still has some muscle, for sure. I would say there is a noticeable difference in his physique from 2019 to now. I think he lost more of that fullness, the pop, uh, he, he, I would say he melted even more, which is something that happens in almost five years, it, it makes sense, but, you know, if he, if he let go completely and he wasn't even training or doing anything, it wouldn't even look this good. He definitely does look like a retired bodybuilder, like all these veins on his biceps and his shoulders and the separation between shoulder and arm and chest. Like, you know, he's trying very hard and this is what he's able to maintain. You know, some bodybuilders lost all of their size and they're looking like they never lifted. Not Ronnie, not Ronnie though. At the age of almost 60, this is what he looks like in 2023. We'll see what 2024 is holding for Ronnie Coleman. Whatever you guys think about Ronnie and his current physique update, tell me in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to help me out to reach 50k subscribers, click that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much guys, see you soon in the next video, all the best guys and bye bye.